What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12 Tutorials. Pick up your premium membership today. It is 50 cents a day. And don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com and get yourself a copy of Trap Chords for Scalar. 40 premium trap chord presets. And it's all right. If you don't have Scalar, if you don't have Studio One, you can use it in live. You can use it in FL Studio because we have added the MIDI files in there for you because we love you all. Now, today we're going to be looking at it's a new year. It's a new you. It's a new me. And we're all on to bigger and better things. Positivity, wealth, affirmations, manifestations, black magic, devil. We're OK. And we're on to new templates, right? Um, Every year, uh, people people come back to the channel. They start, um, you know, they start, you know, recommitting themselves to their goals, and they see my videos, and they're like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa guy, hold on one second, there, guy. I noticed the new plugin in your template, and I need you to send me the file." Well, first of all, I don't send files to templates because I find it counterproductive. If you go to my beginner playlist and you watch my template video i'll sh it, i'll take you step by step how to make this template because i feel that all you guys should know how to make templates and um customize them as your own but there has been some changes to mine so let's go through to the first big change that you're going to notice is i have added sublab as my 808 trigger and the reason why i did this was because when you um when you use it the way that i use it you'll notice that i've got the the green and the purple fader turned all the way down and all we're using is this sampler track in the middle so this is just like using sample one but with added features because what Sublab allows you to do is drag any 808 that you want onto the sampler and if it centers the pitch on the root note and you don't have you don't have to figure that out and what that allows me to do is that it allows me to use every 808 that's in my arsenal because not everybody centers their pitch on C when they make their packs on top of that not everybody tells you what pitch their 808s are in which is suspect so this is really cool um and uh it also has it also has a a glide that will sync to the um, the note length that you want it to sync to. So a really powerful plugin. Um, I like it and it's working out great. Uh, w one thing that I did with my um, with my drums is I went ahead and I turned off the LFO and I turned off the pitch. I don't know if it's a placebo. I think it sounds better. Um, it doesn't hurt to do it or not do it if you're not using those. Um, I've got two hi hats, two snares, and an open hi hat, and then and then a perk folder um, from a from a uh, from a kit that I like. Uh, the next thing that we have is my band bus. These are th these are folders. Again, in that in my original template tutorial, I show you how to make these folders. Um, the the um, <clears throat> instruments that I have used in these folders are as follows. I have a, I have, a, it's not, that's not supposed to be a scalar. That's supposed to be a serum. So we're going to fix that. But I have a serum in here, which is, um, which is to make, which is to make the, uh, the drill wubs. Okay. You know, you need your, you, you got to get your wubs on when you're making, when you're making your, uh, when you're making your pop smokes and the like. All right. When you're on the block with your mates, let me just put this in here. Mom, um, the other thing, the, the other thing that I have is I have the Mellotron from Arturia. I really like this instrument. Um, it has a built-in, it has a built-in tape saturation and wobble on it, which makes it really cool. Um, one less plugin to use the Selena strings. I like these strings, you know, super, you know, eighties horror movie vibe, um, a contact library, which I usually use one of the output, um, libraries with the DX, the DX, DX seven from Arturia, which gives me, I, I, I like this for the bells and, and, and the VS, um, the VHS flute, the profit, you already know what time it is when CMP gets busy with the profit. Um, and Omnisphere, because Omnisphere is the goat. 
Um, we'll never stop using Omnisphere at Craftmaster Productions. And then an analog lab. Analog lab is like, uh, I, I use it like y'all boys would use Nexus. This is, this is like, uh, this is like a uh, Rompler man things. You know what I mean? Um, so that's, so that's where that is. As far as my instrument bus, um, for samplers, I just keep two Serato samples on deck. Uh, basically it's, it's for, you know, if I, if I don't have a loop and I wind up making a loop, I like to throw it into the Serato sample. Um, if I'm going to do extra things with it, I still have a bunch of sample ones with different, with different vocal libraries that I, that I like. So I just, I just keep a vocal folder because putting vocal chants on to my beats is something that I enjoy doing. Um, I also have, um, an effects, uh, an effects folder, which has a hall reverb, a plate reverb, uh, a ping pong, um, you know, like eighth note nexus, um, reverb type of deal. And then a quarter note straight echo, um, type of deal, right? My cheat code folder just includes scalar and what I call the kick pitch finder. And what I do here is I will, um, whatever kick that I'm using, I'll drop it into the, um, you know, into the sampler. And this, will, this does a really good job of reading uh, what the root note of the kick is. And then inside of because a lot of people still ask me if I, if I tune my kick if I tune my drums because they don't see me do it anymore they think I gave up on it and that is not the case sir um so as you see like right here the root note is f I've, I've already got that set in my template and then whatever the root note of my track is is what I'll wind up programming this in it does wonders for the drums um, sometimes the root note doesn't work out so you just use the fifth but having having that harmony um, with the low end is important. And, um, that's it. That's what I got. That's what I have in the template. So I hope you guys, um, maybe this gives you some ideas. Maybe you get inspired on top of that. I have, I've added, you know, the arranger into here. I went ahead and added a verse D. Um, I noticed a lot of the drill songs, uh, those guys rap for 16 bars. So I'm challenging myself to do better. And instead of making, and instead of making six patterns, when I, when I make a beat, I'm going for seven. So anyways, guys, this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, studio one, tutorials.com. You guys keep it simple, but do not be basic. And we will see you on the next one, fam.